Russellas are wild. Check this out. This is a Russella mushroom. Has a cap, has a stem, has gills. However, it's not like your typical cap and stem mushrooms. Let's check this out. So you know I gotta do my classroom outside on the truck here. Well, let's look at the Russell ACA family. I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but I just wanted to share this cool fun fact about these mushrooms. So within this family, you have multiple genera. We've got, I'm not even gonna go and name them all here, but I'm not even too concerned about some of these ones over here because they're typically crust fungi or other forms that don't produce cap and stem mushrooms your agaricoid form, which are going to be your milk caps, Lactarius, Lactifluus, and Maltiferca, and the Russellas that we're talking about today. Over 750 known species of Russella, as a matter of fact. But what makes them unique compared to your other types of cap and stem mushrooms is unlike most mushrooms that are formed from stringy hyphae, that's the fibrous flesh of the fungus, not rustlas, not milk caps. They form these little balls called spherocysts. So let's look closely at my rustla here. Here, I'm gonna turn around here and get some light on this. So I've already broke into this one so you can kind of see the body of it. But many people describe the breaking of the stem of a russula as similar to chalk snapping. Or like an apple. When you break open an apple, it doesn't break clean. In the, or I'm sorry, it breaks more clean than a cap and stem mushroom. But it doesn't, it breaks with little, little jaggedy edges and such. Here, let me set this down. We're going to test this out here. So... The flesh of this stem here, instead of being stringy where it would peel apart like string cheese, it will crumble or break apart into, into more of like a chalk style. Let's try it. Now this one's so fresh, it's actually quite soft. But nonetheless, here we go. I'm just going to take my hand here and break it in half. And you can see how it just kind of crumbles. There we go. See that? I'm not getting good focus on this though. I don't know if you can see how it's just snapping in half. It doesn't peel apart. It literally crumbles. And that's the case for the gills too. The gills are not known to hang on tight. You can see how they broke here. If I just take my hand or my finger here and try to fold the gills over, you're gonna see them snap snap right off look at that it didn't even take much i'm just brushing my hand across here and they start to detach oops let's spin this now we can see what we're doing all right so i'm look at that i'm trying to lay them down they don't want to lay down they break and that's because these are not made of typical hypha they're made of the spherocysts fun fact one more time And how can you tell if these russellas are edible? Well, as far as we understand in mycology, if a russell is mild tasting, it is edible. There are some species out there that will be bitter and they'll actually benefit from a um, hypomyces that will infect them and actually change the consistency and flavor of them, turning them into what we know as lobster mushrooms. Um, let me flip the camera around back at me. But if you if you if they taste mild, they're going to be safe to consume. Um, some actually have a spicy, like an acrid, not similar to hot peppers. It's its own spiciness. It's disgusting in my opinion. You don't want to eat those ones either. But doing a taste test on a Russell is a great way to help you identify its edibility. Now, identifying a rustle to species, that's a task that I'm not even trying to attempt, as most rustlers are going to require microscopic analysis to be able to determine exactly what species it is. Hey, I hope this helped you learn a little bit about mushrooms, the Russellaceae family, in particular, rustler mushrooms. 
as I just want to share some fun facts with you guys. Hey, until next time, you know what to do. Hit that like button if you learned something. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Leave me a comment. You know I like that. Until next time, peace.